Hey guys, this is Andrew Keogh with Kershaw Knives here at SHOT Show 2019. Let's take a look at what we've got for you this year. Up first, we have the Kershaw Reverb XL. Back in the day, we made the Kershaw Reverb. It's a really excellent, lightweight, outdoor knife. Uh, this is very similar in some ways, uh, but still has distinctive features that make it stand on its own. We've got a three inch blade with a gray PVD finish. It, the blade opens manually with these grooves that have been cut in the front and the back side of the blade. You can open it one-handed pretty easily and with that groove. You can see we have a gray PVD finish on the back handle scale as well as on the blade and the pocket clip as well. The knife is really lightweight. It comes in at about 2.3 ounces and the reason for that is because we have our combination carbon fiber G10 handle scale on the front. We have that blue gray G10 with that layer of carbon fiber on top. Keeps the knife really lightweight and looks really cool. You can see as well we have a custom pivot nut right there with a black oxide finish. Most of the hardware on this knife, including the tube spacers, has a black oxide finish. And if you take a look along the top there, we've kept it open so it's pretty easy to clean. Really simple, minimal, and lightweight. Like the original Reverb, it has that carabiner gate for different ways of carrying and we have a wraparound pocket clip, which efficiently uses the construction of the handle to create a really simple and minimal pocket clip that's really sturdy as well. It is an offset frame lock, so you have that security in the lock up there, and it has a really great upswept blade. And that's the Kershaw Reverb XL. This is the Kershaw Misdirect. It's an excellent entry-level knife, really good beginner's knife. Because it has this reverse Tonto blade shape, it's really good for everyday uses like opening boxes, opening letters, cutting zip ties, things like that. Really good blade shape for everyday carry. It's a 2.9 inch blade, so again, that size is perfect for everyday carry. Steel handle frame lock, you can see the front and the back. The pocket clip is, works in three places, here, here, and then on the front as well. So it's very versatile in how it can be carried. One of my favorite things about this knife is the lock bar. It's really easy to access, so this knife is incredibly easy to close and open. It opens with speed safe and a flipper, so it just comes right out just like that. Uh, you can see as well, we have a glass filled nylon backspacer with some jimping, as well as this awesome uh, la double lanyard loop detail in the back. That's the Kershaw Misdirect. Up next, we have the Kershaw Mixtape. This has, again, that reverse Tonto blade shape with a stone wash finish and some really excellent grinds on it. Opens manually with a thumb disc right there, uh, which also helps keep it a, a really compact profile when it's in your pocket. You can see as well, we've brought the pocket clip out through the back handle. So again, give you an un uninterrupted profile along the back. It has glass filled nylon handle scales and an inset steel liner lock so that you get the structural integrity of a liner lock, but that way we're able to wrap the plastic around the liner so it gives you a really comfortable feel in the hand with that glass filled nylon. You can see as well, it's pretty well textured to give you a good grip and it has some really interesting cutouts and details on it. This knife was inspired uh, from a design standpoint by old cassette tapes, which is why it's called the mixtape. And you can see some of the patterning that was used in the graphic elements on cassette tapes in the handle scale, in the pivot, on the back as well. And you can see it's a pretty square profile and then has this cutout, which kind of calls back to the real window um, on cassette tapes. So yeah, that's the Kershaw mixtape, a really good everyday carry option. Up next is the Kershaw Decibel. This is a slim, futuristic knife, but it has um, it's very practical in how it can be used. Once again, we have that reverse Tonto blade shape. We have gray PVD finish on the blade, as well as on the handle scales. It is a steel frame lock, uh, and it's pretty open. One of the nice things about the knife is that it has a lot of cutouts. And through one of these, you can actually see, if you look closely, the Kershaw logo that's been lasered on the back handle scale. One of my favorite things about the knife is this pivot ring, this trim ring we have around the custom pivot there. It's aluminum with a blue anodized finish. And you see that on the front as well as on the back. We even have an anodized aluminum backspacer to kind of mimic what's going on with the trim rings there. The knife is a manual opening knife with the thumb studs right there and has a great texture on the lock bar to give you a really good grip and make it really easy uh, to unlock the knife when you need to. We also have a reversible pocket clip on this knife. One thing that's really nice about this clip is that even though the handle scales, as you can see, have some contouring on them that might be difficult for a reversible clip, but we molded the, a little spacer, a little platform under this clip so that it works on the front as well as on the back so it's still reversible. That's the Kershaw Decibel. Up next, we have the Kershaw Epistle. 
another manual opener knife with the thumb studs. We have a three inch blade with a bead blast finish and a drop point blade style. This is all about simple elegance. We tried to keep it pulled back, um, but still refined so that it gives you um, yeah, a sophisticated look to the knife. We have aluminum handle scales on the knife, which add to that refined aesthetic, but also keep it really lightweight. This knife only weighs 2.1 ounces. Uh, and because of that and the pocket clip, it's definitely a knife that I would recommend if you're looking for a knife to wear like with a suit, uh, it'll complement your look, but also is very lightweight, so it won't wear uh, too much on the, on the slacks. We have an asymmetrical, asymmetrical pivot nut with some cool texture there as well. A glass filled nylon backspacer and a pocket clip with cutouts that reveal the Kershaw logo that's been lasered on that aluminum handle scale. That's the Kershaw Epistle. Up next, we have the Kershaw XCOM. This is a Les George design. We're actually releasing four Les George designs this year. Super excited about that. This is inspired by the M3 trench knife that was used in World War II by US troops. And it was a standard issue fixed blade knife. What's really nice about this knife is that it brings the look and the feel of a fixed blade knife into something that is pretty compact and easy to carry every day. So this is a manual opening knife. Opens with a thumb disc. You can see there's a dagger style blade with a bayonet grind, a black oxide finish. The knife is all black to keep that tactical feel. Once again, we have a steel inset liner lock to give you that structural integrity that you need. But we have glass filled nylon handle scales that have been wrapped around that liner to give you a really ergonomic and comfortable uh, grip on the knife. We've even brought the steel liner through the top with some jimping and that enhances the grip even further. It's really, really good, really ergonomic, uh, has a textured grip on it. You can see we have a uh, backspacer there, glass filled nylon once again, lanyard holes, as well as a deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. So that's the XCOM from Kershaw and Les George. We have another manual knife from Les George. This is a Kershaw Innuendo. This knife is slim and sturdy. It's a frame lock knife, steel handle scales on the front and the back with that bead blast finish. You can see we have a gray PVD finish on the pocket clip, which is deep carry and reversible, as well as on the thumb disc, the pivot, and the blade. It's a 3.3 inch blade with that gray PVD finish. Uh, this knife is also has a really slim profile, will fit really well uh, in the pocket, uh, but it is really sturdy with that frame lock. We kept it simple and open along the back with those two tube spacers. If you take a look at the back, it's mirroring a lot of what's going on on the front. That's the Kershaw Innuendo. Up next, we have the Kershaw Boilermaker. This is a speed safe knife from Kershaw and Les George. It has a new brown wash finish on it. So we've used gray PVD finishes and blue PVD finishes before. This is a brown PVD finish that has been stone washed to give it a kind of almost rusted post-apocalyptic worn look so that it looks like something that you would have with you in your bug out bag after the apocalypse. Really, really fun uh, and adds a lot of character to the knife. It is a speed safe opening knife, which is really nice. Using that flipper there with some jimping on that. It's a 3.3 inch blade and we've even cut a pocket in the front handle scale so that you can see the Kershaw logo that's been lasered on that back handle scale. It is a frame lock knife, steel handle scales on the front and the back. It has a wraparound clip, kind of like the Reverb XL, to give a really, really minimal slim clip that you'll barely notice when you're carrying. It's a really, really nice feature in this knife. If you take a look at the top, it has a glass filled nylon backspacer with that triangular structure. It kind of echoes some of the other structural and architectural visual elements in the knife. That's the Kershaw Boilermaker from Kershaw and Les George. Okay, this is our last uh, Les George design um, that we're releasing this year. This is the Kershaw Seguin. It's named for Juan Seguin, who is a US military hero. He fought in the Texan Revolution back in the 1830s and Les wanted to name the knife after him. We have a 3.1 inch blade with a gray PVD finish. You can see we have an elevated thumb ramp on here as well, which really helps to enhance your grip on this knife. Uh, this knife overall is definitely one that feels really good in the hand uh, as well as you know looks really good. One of my favorite things about the knife actually is that Les put the, he designed it so that the flipper is right by the front of the handle, which means you barely have to touch it and the knife flips right open. It's a really, really good flipper with that speed safe action. Steel handles on the front as well as the back, you can see it's a frame lock knife. And we've put this beautiful radial texture in, which gives a really cool look to the knife, but once again, enhances the grip and adds to a knife uh, that feels really good in your hand. The glass with nylon backspacer also has lines that mimic what's going on with the texture in there. And we have, once again, that really efficient, really minimal and slim wraparound clip on the back. That's the Kershaw Seguin from Kershaw and Les George. Up next, the Kershaw Oblivion. 
This knife is supposed to look futuristic as well as really sturdy. I love the screw uh, collars that we have on here for the pivot screw, as well as the screws that are on the front and the back. They give it a really industrial look that add to that futuristic vibe. Three and a half inch blade with a stonewash finish. Some really nice detailed jimping along the spine of the blade there. It opens with a flipper and speed safe. And you can see as well, we have this plastic piece of the knife. This is new and different for us. Something really cool, a really nice feature of this knife. Uh, usually, if we have an inlay or an overlay, it either increases the thickness of the knife or doesn't go all the way to the edges. This one runs all the way to the edges and is flush with that steel handle scale. Just to give it a really cool futuristic look, um, but it still doesn't sacrifice any of the th overall thickness of the knife. You have lanyard holes in the back, as well as a deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. We've even added an over travel stop because it's a pretty large knife and has a really long lock bar that gives a little bit of added security to the feel of the knife overall. That's the Kershaw Oblivion. Up next we have the Kershaw Antic. This is an addition to the Kershaw Shuffle family and it's really nice. There's a lot of features about this that make it different from the old uh, shuffle, the old shuffles that we made um, and yet it still comes in that that really approachable really small good everyday carry size. It has a 1.8 inch blade, um, which is a really, yeah, it's a really good everyday carry size. You can see there's some good jimping on the top of that, so you can get a really good grip on this knife, even though the blade is, is pretty small. Uh, it opens with thumb studs, and is a really nice knife to fidget with. Uh, manual opening, but it's just really fun to, to play with uh, and open and close. One of my favorite things about the knife is the steel handle scales. We have a navy PVD finish, navy blue uh, PVD finish on these, and it is a steel handle frame lock. Usually the shuffles have been liner locks in the past, but we're adding a frame lock to that family. We've got a pocket clip right here, single position, and this is where the knife really shines. You've probably noticed the karambit ring in the back. Uh, usually karambits are very aggressive fighting knives with one purpose in mind. Uh, this is a much more approachable knife, but it still has that ring, uh, which is, again, is a really neat feature to the knife. You can hold it like a karambit uh, either way, and it works really well for that. But it also serves a very functional purpose. It's a steel backspacer, but then it tapers down into something that works as a pry bar as well as a flathead screwdriver. So it's very, very functional. And also, there's this little tab on the back handle scale that works as a bottle opener, and it works really well. So you have three or four functions packed seamlessly into a knife um, that at first glance may look just like a cool everyday carry knife. So that's the Kershaw Antic. From Rick Hinder and Kershaw, a few years ago, we made the um, Kershaw Cinder. This is the same, same knife, but it's new because it has copper handle scales. Really, really nice. Something that's gonna patina over time and give a look original to you to this knife. So we've added copper handle scales. Uh, some other nice features about this knife, it, it has a three finger grip, which is something that's really rare for a knife this small. It has about an inch of usable blade. It opens manually with a thumb stud. It is a liner lock, uh, but because it's inset, it's a really secure, really secure liner lock. You can see as well there's a hole in the backspacer for a keyring or a lanyard, and this also works as a bottle opener. So again, really functional. Um, despite its size, uh, it's really compact and easy to carry. Uh, yeah, and works really well. And again, this is the Kershaw Cinder coming in with copper handle scales from Kershaw and Rick Hinder. Up next is something totally different for Kershaw. Uh, we have a partner that we work with. His name's Chris Cole. He's a professional skater and uh, he rides skateboards and so we made a skateboard tool. Uh, he asked us to, to make one and, and so we did. Uh, it is comprised of two pieces. There's a wrench tool and a driver bit tool. Uh, so for skateboards, um, we wanted something that uh, you could fine tune the trucks with. So they have the different wrenches that are specific to the different nuts and bolts that go on the trucks of a skateboard. And you can see as well, if you have deck screws that have our Phillips head, we've got you covered. If they're Allen wrench, uh, if they need that, then we have that covered as well. It's something that's really lightweight. They nest into each other uh, with magnets, which is kind of fun. So it's something that you can take with you to the park. Uh, Chris asked us to make something that would be compact and that wouldn't have a blade on it. So if you have kids that skateboard, they can take it to school and they're not going to get in trouble for carrying a knife. Um, yeah, it's really, really compact, uh, pretty lightweight and pretty durable. And will definitely be something that serves you well out on the street or in the skate park. That's the Kershaw Kickflip. So we got three new automatic knives from Kershaw this year, USA made automatics. We're super excited about these. Up first, we have the Launch 8. This is a collaboration with Matt Diskin. I'm really excited about this knife because it's a modern take 
on a classic Italian stiletto, uh, which is really the knife that defines the, the genre of switchblade and automatic knives. Um, so this is the, yeah, the Launch 8. It's incredibly slim, CPM 154 blade steel with a stonewash finish. It's a three and a half inch blade with some beautiful grinds on that blade, which make it really excellent. It's a slim knife, which I think makes it a really good addition to the Launch family. It's a push button automatic like all the Launch series. And you can see we have a gray anodized aluminum handle scale on the front as well as on the back. We have a steel reversible pocket clip. And you can see there the integrated backspacer along the back and a beautiful carbon fiber inlay that's been put in there that really kind of calls back to the old Italian stilettos, but in a modern, fresh way. So that's the Launch 8 from Kershaw. Uh, a couple years ago, we made the Launch 4, and it's been our best seller automatic knife. So we wanted to bring you some more knives that are in that, that size range, in that California legal size. So this is the Kershaw Launch 9. It's very similar uh, to the Launch 2 in its design. It's a drop point blade, it has a 1.8 inch blade, so it is legal in California. Uh, once again, CPM 154 blade steel. Uh, it has a beautiful blood groove as well as some fine jimping on the spine of the blade there. Really functional, really small and compact, easy to carry. Black anodized aluminum handle scales on the front and the back. You can see we have a deep carry reversible pocket clip. And we also have this integrated lanyard loop in the aluminum handle scale. It is a push button automatic and has some really nice machined grooves and cutouts in it that make it a really unique um, knife. We have the integrated backspacer along the back. Uh, yeah, that's the, the Kershaw Launch, Launch 9. We have another California legal knife. This is the Kershaw Launch 10. It's a really crazy looking knife, but it's actually really practical. Uh, it's super compact. It has a 1.9 inch blade, so it's legal in California. Push button automatic like all the Launch series. Once again, we have that gray anodized aluminum handle scale on the front and the back. So it is a, it's a hawk bill style blade, which looks like just, yeah, it looks crazy and insane, but it's actually, it's really practical, really good for opening letters and boxes, cutting whatever you need to. And a lot of these cuts along the top give really good landing places for your fingers. So it helps you keep a really good grip on the knife and control it really well for the tasks that you're using it for. The chamfers on the knife as well, on the handle, may look a little crazy, but they're all positioned to give you a really, really excellent three finger grip on this knife. So it's a really small knife, but it's definitely one that you can get and, and maintain an excellent grip on. You can see we have the integrated backspacer with these teardrop shapes in there, as well as an integrated lanyard loop and a reversible deep carry pocket clip. So it's a really crazy looking knife, really exciting knife, um, but is also incredibly practical. That's the Kershaw Launch 10.